Once you're finished with your design, you are ready to render. To get started, click on Render to go into Render Mode. In Render Mode, you have two options for output. You can render a static PNG file or a layered Photoshop file. You can render the current camera view or select from a saved camera bookmark. You can select multiple saved camera bookmarks here to line up multiple renders. Give your render a name and choose the quality that you'd like to use for the render. You can choose from high, medium, or low. Low quality renders will take less time than high quality renders. Pick the quality that is appropriate for you. If you want to export as a layered PSD file, you can choose from PSD 16 or 32 bits per channel. You can also select PNG. Click on the Render button. The duration of the render will depend on the complexity and size of your design, your rendering settings, and your system specifications. During the render, you will be able to see a progress bar on the render status and you can take a snapshot which saves a copy of the render at its current progress. You will also see a projected duration. If you choose to export as a layered PSD file, you can open it and edit it in Photoshop for further adjustments and fine-tuning. While you cannot edit the 3D objects in Photoshop, you will be able to edit layers of your scene separated as materials and objects just like any other 2D layer. Thanks for checking out this video, and we can't wait to see what you make!